Good morning. It's 830. I'm Priya Mann. And I'm Grant Herms. We begin right now with our live coverage from London, where Queen Elizabeth II is lying in state. And mourners continue to wait in a five mile long line for their chance to bid farewell to the Queen. Our Kimberly Gill and Tim Pamplin are in London this morning with a closer look at how so many continue to honor the Queen. Good morning, or I should say good afternoon, Ken. That's right. Good afternoon. It's uh, just after one o'clock here in London. And, you know, I've been telling you that people from all over the world have been coming to pay the respects for the Queen. Uh, also, people from Detroit as well. And joining me right now live is Pastor Marvin Winans of the Perfecting Church in uh, Detroit over on uh, Nev Van Dyke and, S in and Nevada. In Nevada. Yeah. That's right. So happy that you're here. Now, you happen to just be here for a different event and then we had the passing of the queen. Tell us why you were here. We're here, we were here last night. We had a concert along with another Detroiter, Karen Clark, <laughs> Sheard, and uh, Donnie McClurkin to celebrate my brother BB's 60th birthday. And so he decided to do it big because he was turning 60 and he wanted a concert here. So we all came for that and then uh, this happened with the passing of Her Majesty and uh, just didn't know how it would work out, but we knew we were coming and it was sold out and had a great time. That's, that's really, that's really cool. I have to ask though, why London? What is it about London that, that made BB? Lon London has just been uh, a mainstay for the Winans. When, when uh, my four brothers and I came here in 1986, uh, it was all the concerts we had were sold out and they have just been wonderful and uh, so it went on to BB and CC and everyone else and so he decided to spend it with some some friends and they did not disappoint last incredible, night. Yes. Incredible. So tell me about your thoughts uh, on the Queen. You said that you've been here to London several times oh. and they've always been really hospitable. Yes. Uh, just your thoughts about Her Majesty. Well Her Majesty I, I, I went and talked to my mom about her and she said that uh, she was 15 years old when the queen uh, took the throne. And she's always been an inspiration. And you know, I noticed my mother, she said this, uh, that it was a woman that, that took the place uh, where all men were. And it was an inspiration, even my grandmother. I remember her talking about the mannerisms and how they held it down. And she was just been a consistency throughout 70 years, you know, it, it's amazing. Uh, when you think about the monarchy and that the, the longest reigning uh, kings and queens were two women, Victoria and now Her Majesty Elizabeth, it says something <laughs> that maybe they don't worry like we do. Uh, but uh, every, every time she has always been consistent and the same. And, you know, I was an avid watcher of The Crown. I don't know if that's <laughs> forbidden, but it, it yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of lets you in on a, the, the back door and the yeah. secrets and different things. But um, I was just happy, actually, to find out that I would be able to be here during this time. Yeah, yeah. Incredible, incredible. Thank you so much for talking Thank to us. It's a great, to, great to see a familiar <laughs> face uh, from Detroit. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is it from London for right now, guys. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, on later editions of Local 4 News at 6 and 11. Uh, the grandchildren are having a vigil inside Westminster Hall. We'll have that coming up. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, having, a, having a, a, a time here covering the Queen. And uh, we will send it back to you guys uh, in Detroit. And certainly an experience neither of you will ever forget. Thank you so much, Kim. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, we'll send it back to you guys.